Hello everyone. So I'm Krutika and uh, this is my seminar to um, CS260 course seminar project. So I've implemented a graph code board that was mentioned in uh, as one of the artifacts that we were supposed to implement and uh, I've implemented the code search artifact within the graph code board and I shall be walking you all through the environment uh, dependencies execution, training and testing results and the challenges that I encountered. So basically the environment that I'm using currently is um, Mac OS and I'm using Google Colab to run the, the artifact. Uh, let me just share my screen. Laptop does not have a GPU inbuilt. I'm using Google servers for their GPU and plus it makes the execution much more easier. Okay. So this is like the git clone command over here. And I shall be cloning the uh, code board library, uh, code board uh, repository over here. So you can see the code board is installed. After that, I shall be uh, loading some dependencies. So uh, these are the following dependencies. So uh, one requires a uh, torque free sitter and uh, transformers in order to execute uh, the code search. So uh, also the one of the dependencies that was required was uh, the GPU and hence Google Colab for execution. So as you can see, this is downloading. The uh, a code search folder in order to unzip. So over here in this, you can see there is this graph code bot and within that I'll be executing this code search. So currently I'm in the contents directory and I have to navigate all the way, all the way over there. So we are in that directory. Uh, and uh, within that directory, you will find, we'll have to unzip first the data set since uh, the data set is in the zip format. So you can see the data set is in the zip format. I'll just unzip it. So the data set has unzipped and you can see your data set folder over here. Uh, so we'll go with that is where. So while this is happening. Hello. So as we can see, this command has finally executed. So it took around 11 minutes for it to execute. Uh, so basically over here, uh, what it did was it created a zip file of each and every programming language that can be used in order to implement code search. So basically, so then you can see uh, in the data set, let me just refresh this window. So over here, it has created the, the folders of these uh, uh, languages and also it has added certain uh, files of training and testing uh, text and JSON files to the particular languages. So in all uh, code search supports a total of uh, six languages. Out of those six languages, I would be uh, evaluating the results for Ruby. Uh, so the languages, uh, so these were the languages. Now let's move on to the other command that is basically coming, just coming out of the directory on, uh, with this command. And it would create a train.log. Uh, further, uh, you can see it would, uh, the language that I'm using is Ruby and the number of epochs I've used is one because, uh, so in the readme file, it used a total of 10 epochs, but, uh, since I was, uh, since my uh, system does not support, uh, that much, uh, it shows a runtime error and plus it is using server GPU. Uh, so a lot of load, uh, uh, is, uh, comes on the GPU. So basically this particular graph goes haywire. Oh, so basically, I think I'll have to uh, change the path of run.py. Yes, so I've just added a one line command to everything. And let me just. Yeah, so since it has found the GPU, so that the, the primary reason was for using Colab was this because it uh, has the over GPU and my computer does not. So uh, since it has a GPU, uh, uh, it can execute really fast. 
so as you can see uh, so for the first 100 step size uh, the loss function was 75% uh, the second 100 step size the loss loss function was 25% then 27 so uh, since the number of examples are this much and it's uh, processing with a step size of 100 uh, this will happen uh, until the sample space is exhausted and uh, we'll get an aggregate of all all the accuracies in order to get the final accuracy for the training or as we can see as the 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 code is still the command is still running but as you can see uh, as we progress in the step size the loss function is decreasing so the goal over here is to decrease the loss function as much as possible and uh, then get the accuracy training model so for the training model we can see that the accuracy that we got for best mrr model was 71% and now it is saving those checkpoints to this particular folder that we had created initially and uh, the training phase is almost done now let's move for the testing phase so this is the final command for the testing phase yes uh, so the command is ready so what changes i've made is i've just uh, added this uh, multiple lines to one single line command as you can see this is the entire command uh, the okay i'm sorry so uh the and uh, i've added the run.py path that was on collab over here uh, and that's it that's pretty much it uh the number of epoch routes here again it has found the gpu it should probably ex execute really well so you can see the batch size of 16 and the number of queries as 1400 that so as you can see a batch size of 16 and uh, number of queries this much was executed so uh, for this you got like 71% uh, accuracy for the eval mmr model and uh, over here uh, the evaluation results are up about 68% uh, so basically uh, these are the given results and uh, the given accuracies are very similar to the training accuracy of uh, 71%. Also, uh, now moving on to the challenges that I faced. So basically, uh, since my laptop does not have a, a GPU setup, I'll just stop sharing. Uh, yeah, so the challenges that I faced were since my laptop does not have a GPU setup, uh, so I had to take it on Collab and after multiple tries on the home PC as well as uh, other friends' uh, computers as well, uh, the code was not ready to execute because it strongly needed a GPU. So that is why Collab helped me and uh, after that, uh, so the reason why the number of epochs are set to one is because it takes a lot of time to run uh, on 10 epochs as uh, mentioned in the readme file. So sometimes while executing, it shows runtime exceeded error or time limit exceeded error. So in order to avoid such errors, I've kept the batch size uh, of 16, which is uh, a decent batch size according to me. And uh, I've also reduced the number of epochs to one. Uh, and uh, since uh, the uh, epochs are just one uh, and still we are getting uh, the accuracy of 68%, uh, which is very close to the given accuracy in the GitHub. Uh, so we'll just let me share my screen for the given accuracy of GitHub. So basically, if uh, you go on this particular tab, And over your graph code word, code search. So for Ruby in graph code word, the accuracy was seventy percent, and uh, and this was after ten epochs. And for us, just for one epoch, the accuracy is uh, seen to be sixty eight percent, which is a, a great match. I feel sixty eight percent. So these were my uh, findings and. Uh, Thank you. Collab, uh, Google Collab. Uh, let me just.